Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am doing a shop, chop, and prop. So I have a lot of plants that are showing tons of new growth. They're absolutely loving my plant room. You know, all the grow lights and everything, they've just been bursting out some new growth and I would love to propagate some of them. So what I'm gonna do is go out and get some propagation boxes. Now they have to be, you know, kind of small because I wanna fit them on my plant shelves under my grow lights. So instead of getting one big tub, I'm gonna get a few smaller ones. That's what we're gonna do for this video today. I'm just gonna take you along the entire journey from the very beginning where I go get the prop boxes through to the end where I have them all set up. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. This is a channel for crazy plant people. And if you are a crazy plant person like the rest of us in this community, please subscribe. That way you never miss a video. I do post about twice a week. And if you like my channel, you will love my Instagram because I post on there almost every single day. So let's go over to Dollar Tree and uh, go pick up some prop boxes. So I came to a um, family dollar to see what they had for propagation boxes. Um, and I found some over here that I'm interested in. First of all, they have this one, which is great because it's clear all the way around and it has this lid attached and it's only a dollar. So this one's really great. I love this one as well because it's clear all throughout and it's a little bit bigger um, and it'll definitely fit on my plant shelf under my grow lights it's three dollars but i'd rather do less boxes and have the box be a little bigger now this one is like the perfect perfect size but i just feel like that lid will block light from coming through this size is nice as well for what i need to do um so they have some good options i just have to decide which one I want to do. I think I'll probably get, I think I'll probably get a few of these and do these as my option. And then I, and they're sturdy, so I feel like I can reuse them again and again. Oh, and then they have these as well. Ooh, this, this is a great option too. Oh, but it has that clear on top. Would prevent the light from getting through. But I like that size. I think it's gonna be this one. Get like three of those. Hmm. This one it does the same thing like where the lid doesn't come off and I really, I really like that. So they're three dollars. I think I'm gonna get like three or four of these. Okay, so I am back from shopping for my prop boxes and I'm really glad that I ended up going to Family Dollar um, because I got three of these. I love that the lid is attached. It's completely clear all throughout so it'll get maximum light. And these were like three dollars a piece. The first thing I do is wash them out because you never know what kind of stuff is in them. Um, and we want them to be nice and clean for our plants. And then the next step is I just take some water. I just use tap water. I put in a tiny, tiny bit of plant food. Now, there's all sorts of different types, like the liquid dirt is a good one. Um, I'll be linking a lot of these products in my description. So I have this huge bag of sphagnum moss that I ordered from Amazon. I absolutely love this thing because it has lasted me so long. Like I've done so many prop boxes and look, I've only used a tiny amount. So this thing is awesome. Because I just take sphagnum moss and then I just put water in there and let the sphagnum moss soak up the water. And then what I'm gonna do is once the sphagnum moss is saturated, I'm going to squeeze out any excess water and dump out the excess water um, because we don't want to drown our propagations. But for now, I'm gonna put a good amount in there. It does a really good job soaking up the water and then uh, if it needs a little bit more, I'll add some more as well. So let's go ahead and do that for all three. I also really like doing the water propagation method where I just take cuttings and put it in water. That's great as well. And there's still so much left in here. I love this thing. Hey guys, all right, so I just wanted to go ahead and show you, um, this one's pretty much uh, saturated, but as you can see, like when I pick it up, it's it's still super wet and that's what we don't want. Otherwise our um, cuttings will drown and they'll get root rot. So what I do is, is I just kind of like squeeze all the water out. Oh my gosh, come on, Mr. Ladybug. Let's get you out of here. <laughs> all right, you can go over here, buddy. This one needs a little bit more water. I'm just gonna like 
squish all this water out. Let me just put it in here. Oh, that's better. Cause you want it to be light and airy. And then when you put the top on, the condensation's gonna really build up in, in here. You can also put some holes in the top if you want, just for a little extra airflow. Um, you know, I just open them every few days for a minute to let it, a little bit of airflow get in there. Let's squeeze it out just a little bit more. Oh, that's better. Okay, that's good. Um, Okay, prop boxes are ready to go. I have a clean set of shears or you know scissors or anything like that is fine, as long as it is clean so that it doesn't infect your cuttings with any kind of bacteria. And the next step is we're gonna go around and pick out some some plants to take some cuttings of. I think I'd like to make one of the boxes a Hoya box, Hoya prop box. So what we're gonna do is, um, I have this Hoya Australis and we're gonna take some cuttings for that. And then this Hoya Bilobata. Um, I love these leaves. They're so like soft and fuzzy. And what else? Um, I recently got this Hoya Sunrise. I might take a couple little cuttings off of it. Hoya Crinkle 8. Um, this is a Hoya, it's either Shepardii or Kentiana. I'm gonna take some cuttings off of that one. Curtisii and I, <laughs> I have a really hard time propagating that one, so maybe I'll pass on that Hoya. We could do um, a Hoya, some Hoya Retusa. This is a Hoya Wyetii I could do. Um, I'd love to do Carii, but it just it's just now starting out to put out some new growth. So I'm just gonna leave that one alone. Um, I could do a little bit of Hoya Chelsea that I have down there. And when you're doing a cutting, you just wanna make sure that you cut right underneath. This is a node and you wanna cut right under there cause the roots will come out from here. So, you know, this one looks like it's clearly been propagated off of a lot. So I'm not gonna do much on this Hoya Sunrise, but I do wanna get a few. And look at that Hoya sap <laughs> that comes out. Hoya crinkle eight. Let's do some cuttings off of this one. So many little babies hanging off of that one. That's a good one. I don't want to trim too much off of this one because it's been struggling and it's just trying to make a comeback now. So trim it there. Right, the last Hoya is this Hoya Chelsea. Um, let's give it a little trim. It like hurts, but also feels so good. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, that's good for the first one. And I have a ton more Hoya cuttings. So we're gonna do two boxes for Hoya cuttings. The Hoya Retusa and another Retusa. <laughs> kind of, okay, a little too compact. All right, 
Hoya Sunrise. Let's put some of the Bilabadas. I have a ton of these guys. Put some Australis cuttings in here. Hope there's room. All right, we're just gonna have to make room because I only have one box left after that. All right, in you go. That looks good. Those two prop boxes filled up so, so fast. So we have one left. Um, I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do next. I think I'm gonna do some Peru propagations. So we'll pull this one to the side, this Peru. We're also going to do some campos. I have so many plants I wanna propagate. I did recently take some melanochrysum cutting. So I think I'm gonna do one on this um, new epipremnum that I got. And then I'm also going to take a cutting from this. Just take that little top part off. This one has some growth coming as well. I would love to have a million varicosums. They're so pretty. And then I'm tempted on this one, but I think I'm gonna let this one grow a little bit more. Also my variegated burl marks. Maybe I'll do a cutting on, on this one as well. So when I first got this plant, it, it literally only had a couple of leaves and it has put out so much new growth. I'm really, really excited to propagate this gorgeous, gorgeous baby. It's just done so, so well for me. I'm gonna chop you here, and then a little choppy chop here. One more here. Perfect. I think I was a little over ambitious with the number of um, plants that I can fit in this third one, so. We'll see, I might just do the Campo and the Peru and then maybe one Varicosum. So next up is Peru. First one is here, a little extra. One here, perfect. Got a lot of cuttings off of that one. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Let's get the Varicosum. Okay, so my favorite plant of all time right now is this beautiful varicosum. I'm so torn because I love it so much that I would love to propagate the heck out of it and make a million more, but I also love it so much that I hate to trim it down. But I'm just gonna do one off the little top here. Boop, ouchie. <laughs> Let's put in the varicosum. Give it its own special little spot there. Good luck, buddy. It's a nice top cutting, so fingers crossed it it does okay. We have a bunch of beautiful campo cuttings, so gonna stick those in there. I love it. Look at those nice little like aerial roots already going. Some more. Stick you there. Perfect. Next up, we have some Peru. Perfect. Looks really good. All right, so I cleared out some space on my plant shelves for my prop boxes, one up here as well. Here are some of my existing prop boxes that are doing really well. Um, and one of the things I did was put something underneath it like this to you know keep it warm. Um, some people do heating pads. I was a little nervous to do that. So I think what I'll do is get like a little pillowcase or something kind of like this and put it under there as well. And it just helps it retain a little bit more heat because they love to be warm and with it being you know, still kind of chilly, it's not quite warm weather here yet, um, you know. I, I think that's a good idea. But they will get lots of light and every few days I'll just pop them open and uh, give them some fresh air. 
All right, guys, so that's it for today. Please subscribe if you haven't already. That way you never miss a video. And also look me up on Instagram because if you like my channel, you will love my Instagram. Yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. I will let you guys know how my propagations are doing. The last batch I did all fully rooted and are doing awesome. So I have my fingers crossed on this one. Please leave some comments and some propagation tips. Um, I always, always love to hear your feedback. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.